Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be creating a card using a new stamp set from Avriel, and this is called Some Bunny. I absolutely love the little bunny in this and the big balloon. It also has coordinating dies and I'm going to be doing some watercoloring today. So I've got a piece of three and three quarters by five inch watercolor paper. And for my watercoloring, I'm going to be using ink tense pencils. And if you're not familiar with ink tense, they're really fun, uh, but there is a bit of a learning curve. So I'm going to just show you how I use them today. I have the pack of 24 and I'm going to be using water brushes with this. Uh, this bold, or I'm sorry, the uh, broader water brush looks like there might be some black ink in there, but it's really not. It's just a little bit uh, stained. So I'm going to start by setting up how I think I'd like my card to look. I want this to be very clean and simple and I am going to set it up first with the balloon and then see where I'd like the bunny. I'm going to stamp them separately so I do take the bunny off before I close the door to my Misty. And I'm going to be using Versafine Onyx Black Ink because this is a waterproof ink. So when I use my water brush with it, it's not going to make the ink run. The reason that I'm st uh, stamping these separately is because I would like to be able to re-stamp them after and I want to make sure that I'm able to leave it on the Misty and that way I can just put my card front back in after I've done my watercoloring and then it will stamp in the same exact place. I really love doing that for colored images. I just think it gives it a nice bold look. For the balloon, I am going to be using this fuchsia color, and it is number 0700 in the ink tense pencils. And I have gone ahead and sped this up a little bit, um, but it's, it's about four times um, real time, but I wanted you to be able to see how I blend it out. So I start by shading in where I think the darkest color or the darkest shade would be. On my balloon, I would assume that to be the bottom left-hand corner as I am imagining my uh, light source coming from the top right-hand corner. And then when I go to blend it out with my water brush, I go and use the farthest line. So I go right up to the line and make sure I drag all of that color out onto the balloon. The last place I want to put the color or the least amount of saturation I would like is in my top right hand of that balloon. So I'm going to drag all the water out and then if it gets a little bit too intense in that area, I can just squeeze a little water out of my brush and then just put some clean water right over it. One thing that's really important to remember with Inktense pencils is once it's dry, it's not going to move around like a normal watercolor. So you don't have a very long amount of time to work with it, which is where the learning curve comes in. You'll see that I go in, or you have seen that I went in, with uh, the pencil a couple more times just to make some more shadows or the darker areas. And that's just to make sure that I have enough depth and shadow versus highlights in my balloon. I'm now going to go ahead and re-ink the stamp and re-stamp it right over it, as I said in the first place. And if I had taken it off uh, to stamp the bunny, I wouldn't have it exactly in the right place. So that's why I wanted to stamp them separately. I'm now going to go ahead and stamp the cute little bunny image. And this is the one place that I wish I had or what I had done differently for this card. So again, I'm going to ink up the bunny in VersaFine Onyx Black ink, but when I stamp it, I stamp it so that the bunny's hand is a little bit over the string, and I just wasn't really thinking, and you can see the string going right through the bunny's hand. I didn't really notice this until later when I was uh, watercoloring the bunny in, but I do wish I had done that differently. I wish that I had masked that tiny portion of the balloon string off. So I stamp my bunny a little bit underneath the balloon because I want it to look like he's holding it up a bit. And I'm going to use charcoal gray for my ink tense pencils. And that is number 2100. And again, I am just putting the pencil down where I think I would have the darkest shadow. And then I'm blending out a bit. Because the bunny is so small, I'm using a lot of water to blend out and I'm 
con like constantly sort of squeezing some more water out of my brush to make sure that I have a lot of clean water going into this because I don't want a really intense gray on the bunny. I just want him to be sort of a nice light gray. Because this bunny image shows the inside of his ear, I want to make sure that I get that inner part a little bit of a pink color because that's how I imagine bunnies to be. So I am using 0400, which is poppy red in the ink tense pencils. And once I get that blended out, I will just go ahead and put a baby wipe right over it to pick up any of that extra saturation or water, or I'm sorry, or color. For his cheeks, I want a really, really slight pink color. So I'm just scribbling a tiny little bit of that same poppy red onto a scrap piece of paper and I'm picking it up with a very wet brush, a lot of clean water just to make sure it's really muted. To add a little bit more depth and dimension to the card, I'm just going to add some shadow. So I'm using the ink black color, which is number 2200, and I'm doing just a line right underneath the bunny. And then I'm going to take a, again, a very wet brush and blend this out so that it looks like the more intense shadow is directly underneath the bunny, and then it blends out a bit. I am bringing the shadow out a bit more on the right hand side because that is where the balloon is, but I'm not focusing too much on exactly where all of the shadows would be. I just think it looks really nice to have a little bit more dimension. I don't know why I didn't edit this in or put this in, but I did uh, restamp the bunny as well. And I'm going to be using the sentiment, Some Bunny Loves You, and I'm going to stamp that again in VersaFine Onyx Black Ink right into the center of my balloon. And again, I really love how this balloon is so big and it fits these really legible sentiments in there. I just think that's so cute. To add a little bit of embellishment, but to keep this a one layer card, which I don't normally do, and I was excited that I was getting it done, I'm going to use the little hearts and just make little sort of like heart bubbles are supposed to be going up from his head. And then I'm going to use chili red from Inktense, which is number 0500, just to color those in. I'm going to use foam tape to mount this to an A2 sized card base, also made out of watercolor paper. And you'll see that this watercolor panel that I was using was pre-printed uh, before from a Hedgehog Hollow box, but I really like the quality of the paper, so I wanted to go ahead and use it for this. So I just used the back side. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. This was a really simple card. I think it looks really beautiful. And if you did the balloon in a darker color, like a blue or whatever masculine color that you think that you would like, this really could be for anybody. I think that you could also really use this for a baby shower card as well. So I love getting small sets like this that I can use a bunch of times because they're really affordable. Please see my description for all of the links to the products used, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much. Bye.